What's going on guys, DJ Av here, smash that like button. And we're gonna be talking about finding the right laptop for music production. And yes, this is my annual video that I do every year and I'm trying to up the ante so that the quality meets the standards that you guys deserve. Trantendo. So first off, we're gonna be talking about specs because specs are quite important. I understand that a lot of this terminology will be too crazy for you guys, so I'm gonna keep it as layman as possible and not be nerdy as hell. So a good processor to me would be an i7. So if you see an i and then a seven, definitely check that out and that goes for both desktops and laptops uh, you will find that the desktop equivalent laptops will have the same processor as the desktops so but there will be double in price of that of a desktop or your usual gaming laptop and i know a lot of people i always ask me you know what is your laptop that you use and it is the seuss rog g56 jkeb which is hella old two years old but boy does it do the job when it comes to this multimedia stuff and that's why i want to point y'all in the best direction ever when it comes to the best stuff because if you get something cheap and then you're not able to do the same thing as me or compete and or whatever then i'm shortchanging you with this information hard drives is another thing i would look out for even though they're not usually on the specs list at your stores or retail stores uh, but a 5200 RPM hard drive is usually the standard that you get with more of the cheaper laptops and stuff like that. You'll find that definitely in the $300 laptops that you get on those special bargain deals and stuff like that, which is extremely slow, loud hard drive, either in a desktop or in a laptop. Uh, what you should be aiming for is an SSD, which is solid state drive, which is the best, doesn't have disc in them. They're very silent and very fast. And that is very relevant when you're trying to read multimedia straight off your hard drive it will make programs load faster because it's being able to access them faster from a solid state drive but there's the in-between at 7200 rpm which is good enough and it will definitely read like files just as fast load your os just as fast and all that oh also keep in mind that i will be talking about Apple computers this year and boy will that be interesting and you'll be surprised of the pricing as well I definitely want to talk about RAM as well because you will definitely see that on the specs list and you want to aim for something about 8 gigs of RAM or higher definitely something at least 16 gigs of RAM is probably what you should aim for especially seeing that uh, processing like running soft sense and stuff like that count towards your virtual memory so you definitely want to have that loaded out as far as possible definitely want to look for something in terms of a laptop a 15.6 inch laptop is pretty good it's pretty full size and it's also portable enough to stick into a backpack i got a swiss backpack and you know i go at it and just put my stuff in there and just load up and go to the studio definitely should check out a lot of my other videos so you can see that and again my asus rog definitely comes in handy it's very compact also it has a built-in card reader on top of my laptop which definitely on a desktop you definitely want a sd card reader on there no exceptions and if you can get a cd-rom which is not very common that's kind of the reason why i haven't ran away from my two-year-old laptop gaming laptop is because of that because I'm able to use my CDs. What are those? It's kind of essential for something like Ozone 7 and Ozone 8 when you want to reference EQs and compression and all that. From there, we're just going to go ahead and get ready to go to Best Buy and check that out. No, I'm not sponsored, though I wish I was uh, by Best Buy. And yeah, we're going to go up there and check out many different desktops, laptops, and I'm gonna you know, highlight some of the best ones I've seen. So we're on our way up to Best Buy here. We're gonna check out and see what in earth is the best laptops that they have on deck. Uh, again, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I'm just checking it out because Best Buy seems like the best option <laughs> at this time. One for the trouble and two Trap for the best. Right here we have a Lenovo laptop here. It's the IdeaPad 110. 
it is pretty decent for what it's worth or whatnot, but this is probably one of those laptops that you kind of want to just, I don't know, not, <laughs> not deal with. But it's pretty good. I mean, it comes with Windows 10 and all that, but all that stuff is just arbitrary at this point. I mean, Windows 10 has been around for quite a while now and it has an AMD processor. And, and I've already spoke about AMD processors versus Intel processors. It really isn't that huge of a difference, especially not now. Uh, but the, the thing is about having the AMD processor at that point is just being able to have compatibility with other peripherals that are out there. And AMD processors, as far as I know, are not compatible with a lot of MIDI controllers when you're DJing and stuff like that, which is, is quite important for those who are music producers that want to DJ as well and you want to kind of plug in or use something like Serato or something like that, it's probably caused some, some little bit of issues or whatever. So it's pretty good. Uh, just depends on you. It's 329, so whatever. No, no. This is a pretty good laptop right here. It's, it's, I consider this a mid-tier laptop, but it does have some of the bare essentials as far as like the numpad and having a keyboard that is visible, I guess, in darker, lower lights, but you know, there's not RBG or RGB for that matter, but it's pretty good. Uh, again, it's like around seven, uh, $700, but it comes with eight gigs of RAM, a terabyte hard drive, which I don't know if it's gonna be 70, 72 RP, 7200 RPM, but I'm pretty sure it might be the lower end of the hard drives or whatnot, but it's still gonna be a little noisy, but most hard drives in general, when they're not solid state are noisy, but it's not very noticeable in the laptop wor world like how it is in the PC world or desktop world, so. But yeah, this is pretty decent. You know, it has pretty much the good ins and outs that you would want uh, as far as your HDM uh, HDMI, which is pretty much substandard. Uh, four USB, three USBs, um, and just pretty decent. Core i5, I know I, it's not an i7, but again, you know, you're just gonna have to spend a little bit more if you want a, an i7 processor. Again, that's that's pretty much the whole point. So now we're checking out what my favorite brand is, and which is the Asus ROG 15-inch screen. It's not a touch screen or anything like that, but I mean, you know, it's to each his own there if you want a two-on-one. But of course, it is a full 1080, and then it has a refresh rate of 120 hertz. And also on top of that, it is an i7 seventh generation 7700. So you definitely get what you want there. And also has a one terabyte hard drive. So definitely good there. And also on top of that, an SSD. So they're talking about $1,400 and a lot of stuff, a lot of features here. The IOs here, it looks like it has, of course it has an HDMI, Thunderbolt, woo, Thunderbolt. And it has two USBs right here. And I'm pretty sure they might be all three USB three. So yeah, that's a pretty good addition there. Might be four USBs, yeah, four USBs. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. So look at it, but yeah, it's really nice, and that's pretty much the level that you want to be on. I know the price is pretty crazy or whatnot, but you know, if you're going to be doing multimedia at a high level, you're definitely going to have to spend. Just keep that in mind. Trap camp. And while I'm at it, just like I promised, we're going to talk about MacBooks. And I know this MacBook right here is a little, it's a little sketchy as far as like his size and stuff like that, but it does make for great portability. And, and shockingly enough, it's not like an i7, a core i7 processor or anything like that, but it's definitely uh, doable in terms of like music production or anything like that. <laughs> uh, sad, uh, funny enough, it definitely can get a lot of your job done. Uh, the only, I guess the only decrepitcy that you would have to worry about with uh, MacBooks when it comes to music production is definitely when it comes down to their ins and outs, their IOs, especially since they use like Thunderbolt, so that means you do have to spend a little extra cheese there when it comes down to their uh, to the peripherals and using like, I don't know, like audio interface or a, a MIDI keyboard or something like that. But definitely these MacBooks are pretty strong. And with that, and they're a bit, a bit pricey, but I think it's kind of fair for, for the amount of power that they do process. Uh, MacBook Air would probably be more or less uh, of the a better move because it has an Intel Core i5 in it so i definitely would think that would be a little bit more ideal uh, for music production in terms of that but also ios are still there <laughs> you only have like your thunderbolt and stuff like that but that's pretty good oh 
Okay, scratch what I said about the last two MacBooks and whatnot. It, the portability of it is great, but I also did, forgot to mention the, one of the two key things that you definitely want to have when it comes to your PC or laptop, and that is definitely like hard drive space and memory. And so I'm talking about memory, I'm talking about RAM. I'm talking about this one right here is the MacBook Pro 15 inch display. So it's already good with portability. It's very small, slim. Uh, I guess the only qu uh, question that would be at hand would be the, the ins and outs. And that, again, it's gonna be sporting Thunderbolt. So that would be a, quite the issue there. Uh, but also it sports the i7 processor. It's Cause again, they were competing against gaming laptops and gaming laptops are pretty much high in demand. And the stronger CPUs, the processing power, that means that it's gonna be very good for multimedia. And that's all that really matters when it comes down to these laptops. Uh, again, it's around the price of $22.99.99 and it's pretty good regardless of uh, what people might cringe about the price is definitely on par and on the level. Uh, it does have a solid state drive in it, 256 gigabytes. So I know that might be uh, sound small to you or whatnot, but definitely, you know, you had just going to have to deal with spanning on with external memory or something like that or even sprucing up because they do have a 500 12 gigabyte hard drive as well solid state drive and it will cost you a little bit more as it's 26.99.99 but definitely really good and definitely something that you might want to consider if you're one of the apple heads you're already going to be spending that money anyway so there's no way that you're going to get around that if you want to use an apple product so let that keep that in mind when you are doing it Trap camp. one of the main things i want to talk about in this area in particular because it's been a hot topic amongst a lot of music producers is are iPads even viable for music production and short answer yes they are very viable for music production uh, when we start talking about all the other things as far as the processor speed and all that you don't have to worry about that because all the applications are going to be optimized for such tasks and of course you have your interesting and neat peripherals or whatnot. It just depends on you as the buyer what you want to do. If you, uh, if you want to produce on the iPad, you can. And then there's, there's a lot of DAWs that have, like FL Studio and Native Instruments Machine. <laughs> there we go. But that have applications that are ready <laughs> for you to be able to do your music production. I know that there's Tractor and all that stuff. It's just a ton of stuff that are on, in the Apple store that isn't in the Android store as far as like music production and all that. But it definitely is is a well worthy thing to own so we're not even going to argue that anymore you know it just depends if you want to spend uh 7.99 949.99 or 1149.99 so it's up to you that's up to you and to put things in perspective here we also had to talk about desktops and we're going to talk about a gaming desktop here it's an iPod powered desktop, which I'm not really necessarily uh, married to brand names or whatever. So just don't worry about that. And it's priced at $1,099.99. So yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, some of the some of the key features that I do like about this, of course, it doesn't come with all the extra stuff that we're that we're showing here. Is you're gonna have to buy a, the fancy schmancy keyboard, you know, that can run you a, a good a good bit. But you know, that's just on how you invest there. But I will say this in general, it does ha come with 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, and 128 120 gigabyte SSD. So, and then it has a 10, six, uh, 1060 on the inside, so it's, it's beast. It will definitely do whatever you want. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about iMac. Of course, we gotta talk about the iMacs because there are people that want to use iMacs, of course, right? And I feel very good about iMacs. I mean, I just don't uh, own one, but it doesn't mean I won't own one in the future. You know, of course, they're gonna have three different packages. You got $999.99, $1299.99, and then the $1499. 99. Of course, the 14.99.99 probably be what you want to get because, again, wow, 4K display. Ooh, -wee. that's actually kind of sick. Uh, not gonna lie there, but of course, you know, you got a quad core processor in there. And then, of course, the desktop processors are always gonna be faster than the laptop processors. Again, with the exception of desktop equivalents. 
uh, that are out there in the laptop realm. So that's the only difference there. But of course, you know, you got a one terabyte hard drive, eight gigs of RAM. So you're, you're pretty much in the realm of what you need to do in multimedia. And of course, a lot of the software that is made for Apple products is optimized for Apple computers, meaning that you will get the best benefit from it. And that's usually the reason why you, we have the issue in the PC world. Of course, that's why I kind of switched over to Ableton because Ableton is optimized altogether. So that is one of the main things that I really like it. Three Thunderbolts, four USB 3s, an SDXC card slot. Hmm. That's actually a, a huge step for Apple. So I definitely wanted to mention that because I didn't want to get into that realm and then, you know, tease everybody. And then the comment spe section explodes, explodes, uh, because I do not talk about the IOs. And that is quite important. So with that being said, and all the stuff that you have observed, tell me if you like this video, you know, give me a like. Definitely subscribe, hit the notification button because that will help the channel out something weird about videos showing up in YouTube and all that, blah, blah, blah. So I'm DJ App McCree, and yeah, let me know what you're gonna get below, cause I want to know. We out. Trabtendo.